Before I start this video, I just want to say that this is meant as a question, not a statement. It's a conversation I want to begin. I understand I'm just a shush white male. I understand I don't have priority in this conversation, and I hope those that do will carry it on. Good? Good. Let's proceed. Today we're here to find out if trans people should consider Timothy Leary as a trans icon. The answer at first glance is probably no, but hear me out. Most people today do not discuss Timothy Leary or his works to the degree which, which I think he's due. There's something about Timothy Leary that's very esoteric, which is a very maddening thing to think about because one of his accomplishments was taking a lot of ancient mysticism and integrating it into Western psychology. Actually, I wrote a whole book on this to help shed some light on the topic. It's a concept known as the eight circuit model of consciousness. I'll talk about that later though. But for now, let me tell you why I feel that trans people should give Leary's work some attention. Primarily because Leary, like Nietzsche, wasn't really writing for the people of his day. He was sort of aiming his audience for a future generation. I truly hope that's why his lessons aren't being passed down right now is because they're being saved for later when people can actually appreciate them. Because the stuff he came up with is just, it is woe, it is, it is very woe. W-O-A. H. Woe. To give you a bit of context, Leary felt that we were evolving to the point where our biological and sexual paradigms would become obsolete. And concerning the DNA, Leary believed that our past, present, and future were all encoded inside waiting to be discovered. Waiting to show that we have the potential to move on beyond binary definitions and dualistic thought patterns. The union of male and female is taken for granted as a neurogenitive necessity. The general terms man slash mankind are never used. We employ the word she to refer to the generic post-terrestrial human. The genetic possessive is her, a combination of his and her. Throughout his book Info Psychology, Leary uses these pronouns. Decades before our society adopted the they them pronouns, it was clear that he needed to, as a psychologist, figure out a rational explanation for gender dysphoria and non-heteronormative identities. And he was doing all this stuff in a time where a lot of his contemporaries, a lot of the other scientists, were thinking of homosexuality as a mental illness still. Leary beckoned a consciousness revolution. And I think while his impact is profound, it is vastly downplayed. What Leary seemed to be going for in his writings was that non-heteronormative identities were a sign that as a species, we were meant to become one. Achieve some kind of unity to embrace both the masculine and the feminine, to see both sides of the whole picture. If you'd like to learn more about the reality and implication of that idea, then check out my book, The Alternative Wrong, which goes into far greater detail than I can at the moment. As for why I felt it was necessary for me to write that book in the first place, it's because the transmission of Leary's ideas has been successfully stifled. The reason for this is Leary went from being a brilliant and respected Harvard psychologist to being the most dangerous man in America. Sorry, that was my best Nixon. Measures were taken to suppress Leary's teachings, and so that's why today most people don't talk about them. But did you know that he created a personality test that was administered in prisons that he himself also had to take when he was incarcerated? Yeah, so he knew how to answer his own personality test to be put in a minimum security prison, and then he was able to escape. Well, someone who finds a creative way to escape prison probably shouldn't be a role model. You can argue that the reason for Leary's incarcerations were kind of ridiculous. So really, Leary did a lot of good for the people of this planet, and that's why I feel like it's necessary to try to bring back some of his teachings and do modern commentaries on them. But Leary definitely overestimated the value of LSD. That's not to say it's a dangerous poison either. I get to another facet of this idea is that trans icons should probably be trans. With all that, I'd like to know what you think. Especially if you're not a shush white male like me or Timothy Leary. Should Timothy Leary be a trans icon? Thanks for watching. So if you'd like to see me again, I make videos every Thursday, so please subscribe. And if you want to take our relationship to the next level, there's a link below to my books. I hope I've left you better than when I found you. Bye for now.